welcome to another part of the uh, my favorite products of 2017. Um, this is the OPI nail polish installment. Um, this is not necessarily a, a new product that came out in 2017. I know that there were these been have been around for a long time. Um, this is just products that I've discovered in 2017. I love nail polish. Um, my go-to before this was Avon. Um, my Avon representative retired last year so I've just been picking up my nail polishes from uh, retail stores and I settled on uh, trying one of these at one point because it was on sale for a really good price and I loved it and now it's kind of my mission to uh, collect all colors I think I have them all but orange um, and a nice dark blue would be nice but this is my collection so far um, I should preface this by saying that I wanted to have very nice and pretty nails to show off today. Um, I have been inking with the new uh, My Monthly Hero Arts kit <laughs> um, and it's completely stained my fingertips and it's stained um, possibly irreparably my nails. So I've actually just recently had to cut my nails off and now I'm just going to let them breathe for a couple of days so I'm not going to be painting. But anyway, so here is my OPI nail polish collection. Um, definitely one of the cons on this is the price. These are nine plus dollars a bottle. It's completely worth it. They go on very smoothly. Um, they're not streaky. They dry really fast and I find a lot of them don't need a second uh, a second coat. Um, I'm a very casual nail polish wearer. I don't do base coats and top coats or anything like that. So it, it has to be something that looks nice in one coat and dry and is dry and is ready to go. And I find that this does it for me. Um, I am able to find them at a more discounted price for around three to four dollars a bottle, which is a lot more in my price range and why I'm able to uh, collect some colors where I can match it mix it up during the week and match to outfits and stuff. Um, so I look at my local um, liquidator store, which here is called Ocean State Job Lots, but you know, there's Martins and there's a whole bunch of different kinds of stores um, that kind of specialize in, in liquidating. So definitely look there in their cosmetic sections if they have one. Um, I've also picked up a few bottles on Holler. Um, so definitely look around if you're interested in trying. Um, the colors that I have, oh, I was going to get a piece of paper and color them out for you as I was, I was blabbing on. So the colors I have, this one is called Never a Dullest Moment, D-U-L-L-E-S. And this is the one that I was going to do, but I'm going to let my nails breathe for a couple of days. I love this sort of bright, fun, yellowy color. And my lighting in here, as usual, is bad. But um, this is another one of my favorites. This was actually the bottle that started it all. I drive a supernova. Um, I've never had a silver polish that went on so smoothly. This is just very teeny tiny little pieces of glitter in there. Not huge chunks of glitter, but gorgeous. This is the one that started it all. It looks almost like you're wearing a mirror on your fingertips. And I was so impressed after it dried that I was like, oh, this might be something worth it. I should I should grab some more bottles and give it a try. This is another one I like. It's called the Center of the Universe, Y-O-U Universe. Um, and this is a beautiful black glitter. And I love this one. I have a love-hate relationship with black glitter, or I should say glitter nail polish in general, is I have a hard time getting it off. So the silver wasn't an issue coming off, but this black one did take several scrubs. And so it probably won't be uh, something that I'll wear a lot. <clears throat> uh, rich girls and po' boys. Po' boy is a sandwich, I believe. This nice uh, blue color, sort of cerulean almost. <clears throat> this one I love. It's called Inside the Is a Beltway, and I believe this one came from Holler. This is a beautiful taupe color. This is just very natural, sort of a dark taupe color. Um, it reminds me of like a nude lipstick. So this is my go-to um, when I'm trying not to be obvious with my nail polish. <laughs> um, she's a bad muffaletta. This is a nice dark pink which I'm actually wearing on my toes right now and it needs to be redone. But due to recent spine problems, I've not been um, painting my toenails lately. Uh, I'm so swamped. This very fun sort of monster green color. This is a fairly new one to me as well. 
Um, I've worn it a couple of times. I change polish every couple of days. And then I, I like to let it breathe in between. <clears throat> this gold is gorgeous. It's called uh, Rollin' in Cashmere. I think this was also a find on Holler. It's sort of the, um, in my opinion anyway, the companion to this silver. <clears throat> Absolutely gorgeous. This red is beautiful. Now this one is from the Infinite Shine 2 <clears throat> and not like just a regular um, glo uh, gloss polish. So it's not quite a true red. It's more of a tomato red, but it is gorgeous. And I do like it. And the last one is Got Myself Into a Jambalaya, a peachy pink which is also quite lovely. And I would, I would qualify this as sort of in the neutral, the neutral family as well. So this is a nice neutral color. So that's what I have. Um, again, my pros are that they go on pretty much with one coat. They dry fast, they look great, they're not streaky. With the exception of the black glitter one, um, they all come off fairly easily. Um, they're pretty durable. I've done dishes before and not had any, any issues with chipping, but after like day two, it starts to get a little chippy. And I have noticed, um, if you put a second coat on after it starts to get chippy, it kind of covers it up and you don't even notice. So that's cool. Um, so, and they have a huge, huge range of colors and styles and lines to go through. So, um, definitely I would say this isn't one of those things where you want to collect one of them all because there's just so many and it can be very expensive, but there's such a broad range of colors and styles that you can definitely get, you know, a dozen of your favorites and have plenty to last you for a couple of years. Uh, plenty of fun, different options. I don't do any nail art or anything like that. I don't make pretty flowers. Um, so I'm not sure how these would work with for those this is just regular straight <laughs> nail polish I like fun colors also um I know I've mentioned it several times now that they dry fast if you have young children in the house and you're doing their nails fast drying nail polish is good <laughs> because they can't sit still long enough to you know to let something dry thoroughly for half an hour so I can paint my daughter's fingers and toes and she's up and out of here within 10 minutes and it's 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 great um, you can find some good deals on them, so I would encourage you to look around um, locally, see if you can find a bottle under $5, it's a really good price because they retail even at Walmart. I think it was almost $9 uh, for one little jar of nail polish. So um, definitely one of my favorite discoveries of 2017 is this brand. Um, I do still love the Avon polishes that I have left, but I'm pretty pleased uh, with this one, in, in lieu of not having a uh, Avon representative right now, <laughs> this will work out just fine. Um, I think that I'd like to get a lighter blue. Um, I'd like to have an orange, and I don't have any purple, so it may be some purple. Um, and then I kind of have pretty much all the colors that I would I would wear normally. Um, but I'll keep looking for it. There's no rush, absolutely no rush to 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 collect everything. I certainly have plenty to play with, and I'm. I'm enjoying them. So anyway, that um, is another installment in my favorite products that I've discovered in 2017. I hope that you've enjoyed and it's encouraged you to um, to take a look and to, to give one a try if you see one. That's what I got. I will see you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.